Thursday Night Smokes this week. Going for a couple of new things for me. A follower sent me a few whiskies to try a little while ago, and I've been meaning to get to them. This one particularly, this is a Brookladdy 22. It's a 13 year old. Don't know a lot about this, other than it's in a virgin port cask. So it should be quite, it should have a lovely sweet note with a, well, it's 59.5%. So it's going to have a lot of strength. And then another follower, which you all know about already, it's Tom. He's been sending me the new wheels to try. Now I've had the Olivia V's, Siri V before, but I've not had the Vortella. Is it the Vortella? Anyway, the pointed one. You know, I really should know that. This is an interesting cigar. If you look at the tail, you can see you're not supposed to light the whole thing, you're just supposed to light literally the small bit. And it will open up the cigar as you smoke it, so it should create quite an interesting draw. How dark does that look? As you may have noticed, I've actually got this in my uh, Brook Laddie little whiskey glass. I figured it was only fair. Oh, that smell amazing. So the trick with this is literally just to light that. As you can see, it doesn't take long. Once it catches, it doesn't take too long. First note, I would say, was a bit of dark chocolate, maybe? Not sure. But as that catches, let's try this. Oh, that does smell amazing. Oh! <laughs> That's got a bite. That hits you. Ooh. That had a lovely... Bloody hell, my eyes are watering. That had a lovely, um... Soft, like... Floral note. Almost orange. And then that alcohol, when that kicks. Bloody hell. Oh. This should be a strong cigar. So this really should pair up really well. That's better. Now that's the second sip. That's better. That first sip's a kick in the bollocks. So I hope everybody's got a nice Easter weekend planned. I'm nipping over to Vineyards either tomorrow or Saturday to send off the first of the uh, cigars for the virtual meeting on the 27th. There's still time to get your tickets. Just uh, look in the link tree and you'll see the, the link. It's the second one down, I think. So yeah, Roscoe, yours will be on its way to you over the weekend. And a couple of others are going out as well. Very much looking forward to doing the virtual tasting, I have to admit. I personally find I get more out of a tasting when I hear other people's notes as much as my own experience. Because I get to hear things I wouldn't consider. I was had some friends over this afternoon and we did my Infinity Dram, and they were saying there's notes of vanilla in there. And I'm like, really? And it's like, that's the, that was the part I couldn't identify, but the moment they said it, it was like, yeah, that's it. That's the bit I couldn't quite pick out. So it's good to have that experience of sharing, which is what I hope the virtual cigars will do for everybody, is we will share and enjoy the experience. We will see. So, just going to touch the end up. As you can see, it's not quite a perfect burn. So, just literally catch the end. That can happen with, um, Neil, I need to pronounce this right, Figurado cigars, that's what this is. It had that little tapered end on the front. That can happen from time to time. Have to admit, it's like a dark chocolate, as bizarre as that sounds from a cigar. But it is, it's like a real roasted, dark note. Which goes very well with a very sweet, strong whiskey. I think when people, people who like New Worlds primarily, 
I think, don't like too much of a variation. They like to know what they start with is what they're getting their whole journey. Now, that's not a bad thing because it means you know where you are at all times. I think people who like Cubans tend to like the fact that there's a bit of an of not being sure where you're going, of what the journey is going to be. And it totally changes with what you drink. I mean, if I had this cigar with a black coffee, I think it'd be a very different cigar. It's a very nice cigar and I do like it. In fact, I would recommend it. So, I reluctantly have to agree with Tom, this is a good cigar and I do like the cigar, but I still miss my journey. Sorry, Tom but I will give you that is a good cigar. So anyway, hopefully everybody's got something nice planned for Easter, as we have a nice four day weekend coming up, which is good. I'm quite looking forward to not doing anything, especially now the evenings are out and look, it's, what's this, 20 past seven on a, fr on a Thursday? And um, yeah, it's still sunny and it's still warm. I'm in a t-shirt, so yeah, I'm quite happy. Yeah, but that whiskey, damn. Jonathan, thank you for sending me this. Really do appreciate that, mate. Anyway, I hope you all have a good weekend. I'm going to enjoy my cigar. I plan on having a few more cigars over the weekend, as it's Easter weekend. Be rude not to. And I shall uh, catch you all on the next video. I think that's a tie. That's what I'm going to go with, Tom. That's a tie.